this tape is again. I have a special unboxing. I know it's the holiday season. Happy holidays to everyone, whatever you celebrate. But right now we're gonna look at a David Adams exclusive of Women of Marble trading cards, Marvel trading cards. Um, I don't know much about this. There is a checklist, so to speak, that was on the site. If you look in the pictures, I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, I'm just gonna open up one box of this and we'll go from there and let's go. I mean, it's very interesting. So I crack one of these open. I'll let you see the box art in the front. And there are some odds laid out on the boxes and I will explain that to you because I'm sure everyone wants to know about that. So there are randomly inserted. You got Base set foil, LTFX parallels. Blue is one out of four. Copper is one out of eight. Red's one out of 24. And greens are numbered to 99. Gold to 33. And purples are one of ones. You also got battle time foil, LTFX parallels. Blue's one of 12. Copper's one of 24. Red of 172. And uh, you got premium inserts like monumental covers which are one of threes, alternate universe, numbered to 499, and connecting links, uh, one and 48. Uh, you also got original art sketch cards, one out of 384 packs. So this is just averages, and that's really what it is. So we open one of these boxes. So these boxes contain quite a few cards here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 packs. So uh, let's get started really quick. And I'm gonna tear some of these open. The art on this is the same. Let's get right into it. Get rid of that packaging. And let's see if I can open. All right. So right off the bat, we have this foil. Battle time. Interesting. I didn't expect the foil to be on top. Here's another one. Maybe they're all foil. Rogue versus Bastion. Here is a She-Hulk. Seems to be some kind of a, maybe it's just a FX blue parallel. Let's see if it says on the back. All right, it doesn't really say. So maybe the the border would be more of a hint as to what you got here. But I'm thinking this has to be a parallel. These are all gray in the background, the She-Hulk. But uh, pretty decent art so far. Put the She-Hulk to the side. Get into the next pack. Also, I probably should have showed you the pack art too, because these are just bags, but uh, so far, both look like that. Let's get into another pack. Don't want to hold you guys up too much. So these were on sale. They're about $50 a box. So get all those, those 12 packs in a box. And I might have ordered it over the weekend. So if you're seeing this, we're gonna be a Tuesday. So, it's another battle time. Scarlet Witch versus Thor. Sherry versus, little Sherry card. Here's one of those monumental covers, Captain Marvel, number 14. And Misty Knight, Spitfire, Electra. So I'm guessing the monumental cover was our special insert for that pack. And let's see what we have next. I'm becoming more of a professional opening these now. Battle time. Another battle time. Just kinda going through them quick. Here's a blue Miss Marvel. You guys see anything that I don't see on these cars, just let me know. Like I said, it seems like the blues are those blue FX cards. And 
trying not to mix my mess up here. Let's put some of these packages to the side. And what are you guys picking up around this time? I know it's a tough time of the year. Everyone's buying gifts and presents and it's not really about us, it's about other people. But I know that in this hobby, we do take care of ourselves. So here's a orange parallel. Rachel Gray. That's pretty cool. It's either orange or bronze, not sure. Elsa Bloodstone. Nice Emma Frost art for your Emma Frost collectors. And clear. Next pack. So I'm trying to think of who would I be looking forward to in this pack. Um, I don't really collect any female characters right now, but I am starting to think that maybe I want to start collecting Rogue. So, you know, maybe I will. Wow, that's very, very impressive mystique art, in my opinion. Big Bertha. Got some blob vibes. Monumental cover. Look at that. First appearance of the Phoenix. Very cool. Mirage. Aurora. But, yeah, but uh, what are you guys buying yourselves? Like I said, I know it's a time when we should be giving others, and some of us have families and big families and trying to make sure everybody gets something nebula yeah making sure everyone gets something can be a little difficult sometimes and uh here's the first appearance of spider gwen ghost spider you may call her and gamora jean gray hmm wasn't sure if there's any Jean Grays in here. I know they believe there's a Phoenix card, but that Phoenix isn't her. I believe that Phoenix is Rachel Summers. If we get to it, we can examine it a little bit. But uh, getting down to the last of the packs. Got about five packs left after this. Blink, Quake, Marriage again. Another nice card. This one's a little orange parallel. Jessica Jones, of course. Nice storm art card here. Hawkeye, the new Hawkeye. I mean, I think it's a cool little holiday bonus in the midst of Upper Deck flooding us with releases. It's tons and tons of releases. And they're really impacting a lot of people's wallets. So, wasn't sure if this was anything numbered because it's blue background. Scarlet Witch. A lot of Scarlet Witch collectors and Black Widow collectors out there. So, that's the art for you. Let's get back in the game there. All right, last four packs. And uh, I guess a lesson for myself or anyone else out there, I'm gonna have to rip these boxes open for these packs before we start next time because it's just adding some time to the clock. I mean, it's enjoyable, but you know, Moonstone, Angela, little spawn character. Black Panther number two. I'm a Black Panther collector, so that's pretty cool. Here's Rogue. So maybe this will be uh, my time to collect Rogue. Put Rogue to side. Oh, and Black Cat. Very impressive art. I like that. Who's the artist on that? I wonder if it tells you in the back. No, but very impressive art nonetheless. So, so far, it doesn't seem like we got any huge hits. Got a couple monumental covers, things of that nature. But let's see 
we can one up that. Psylocke, I know there's a lot of Psylocke collectors. America Chavez, here's the first appearance of Electra, Electra cover. Pepper Potts, She-Hulk, Ghost Spider. Gwen Stacy action. But I'm trying to get back into some more videos here. I do have a couple things I'm gonna get off my chest. Collecting wise, Kitty Pride, Jubilee, a little a lot of X-Men here, Dark Star. And here is a red foil X-23. That's pretty cool. Of all the derivative characters, you know, besides the Miles Morales and the Domino, nice Domino art. Miles Morales and uh, Ghost Spiders. I really like X-23, I think she's a strong character. Uh, even Dakin, if they can go with that whole, you know, you're my father and I hate you, whole thing. But uh, last pack magic. Medusa, Enchantress, a blue rogue. So maybe I'll be able to rainbow with my rogues. Moon Dragon, Shauna, and the Mora. So everybody, if you uh, want to see more like this, uh, like you see, I got a couple more boxes here. Just wanted to give you guys a little idea of what to expect with the Women of Marvel cards from 2024. So all of you guys, everyone, girls, guys, keep yourselves in uh, check. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other and take care.